Hello, I'm Dr Kerry Howell and I'm the programme leader for Marine Biology and Oceanography programme. I'm really sorry I can't be with you today to tell you a bit more about the programme and particularly the field course, but the reason I can't be there is because I'm currently on the second year Sweden field course. Now we come to a place called the Sven Leven Centre for Marine Science, which is based in Sweden on the Gullmosfjord. And the reason we come here is because it has excellent facilities and we are able to use a very large research vessel and get out over extremely deep water. We go out into the fjord and we take measurements of, of various different things about the fjord. So we take measurements of conductivity, temperature and depth to tell us a bit about the water column. Then we look at the animals that live in the fjord. So we use things like trawls to tell us about what animals live on the bottom of the fjord. And we use things like grabs to tell us about water column. Then we look at the animals that live in the fjord, so we use things like trawls to tell us about what animals live on the bottom of the fjord. And we use things like grabs to tell us about what animals live in the sediment on the bottom of the fjord. We take those samples and we bring them back into a lab facility and we're learning to identify all these different animals. And then they look at the data that comes back on the water column. And they look at the substrates that the animals are living on, whether it's sand or rock. And then we put all of those different things together and build a picture of what the fjordic system looks like and how it works. At the end of the week, our students have an ability to identify a range of organisms that are found away from the coast, out in the deeper water areas, and also understand how the distribution of those organisms or where they live is affected by the hydrography or the oceanography of the region, the different water masses that you find in this area. They also go away with a really great understanding of what it is to be a working biological oceanographer. Thanks.